George Ba grew up in Ghana. He started selling fruits and vegetables at the age of seven to help support his family, and then he'd make his shoes out of discarded tires. This childhood experience inspired him for his future, and he is here to share how his handcrafted shoes are helping Ghana build a pathway out of poverty. Welcome. I can't think of anything better than shoes with a purpose. Thank you. And you live in Fort Worth now. Yes. So give folks the brief description of how you got to Fort Worth. I uh, grew up in Ghana and as a, as a child I went to technical school and technical school didn't provide a path for me to go to university. So the only way for me to go to university is to go out of the country. And when I finished my first four year of technical school, I saved money and within two years I saved $20. $20, yes. I said 200, he said no, 20. I saved $20. And that's what I used to pay for the application fee and one of my relatives who has a wife who's an American helped me with the remaining. And so you came and now, and you came to stay with people in Fort Worth. Actually, when I came, I didn't know anybody. So I came straight, my university was South Alabama and I started my education in 2001. Didn't know anybody, have no place to stay. And they used to make a joke of me because they took me to the campus police, asking me for my dormitory, I said, I don't have one. <laughs> so my friends used to joke that, hey, you did not spend your first day on police jail. So that's a joke. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you came up with this business and you're going to demonstrate a little bit because what you do is you develop the style or the pattern in Fort Worth. That is correct. Right? So show people kind of a little bit of how you do that. Right, so and then to we'll talk about how they end up in shoes. To make a shoe, you start from the shoe last. That's where everything begins. So okay. this is the last. I'll hold that. That's the last. And I'll take the last and I'll cut the pattern. And okay. once I cut the pattern, I'll put everything back. And you do that out of leather. Out of leather. Okay, Depend and all of your leather is either American or Italian? Or Italian, okay. yeah. And the fabric, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Yeah, so once I have that made, I'll go back and put a tape. So you've got the leather and then tape. Yeah. And so why, so, so is the tape where the fabric is gonna go? Where the, the fabric is gonna okay. go here. So once I have everything all combined, and I'll go stitch them. Uh-huh. And once I finish the stitching, I'll make the bottom soles and I'll put the shoe last back in again to make sure it fit. So like this, to make sure it fit correctly. Okay, so you make the pattern in, here in the United States, but then you have workers in Ghana who actually make the shoes out of fabrics that come from Ghana, that right? That's correct. So tell people like how much people in Ghana make and how much the people who make your shoes make. The average person in Ghana will make about $100, I'll say a year. That, okay. That's the average person. A hundred dollars a year. Yeah, our guys make between two hundred to three hundred dollars a month. Wow. So you, so people are really fortunate to work for you. That is correct. So are so you're not only helping the people in Ghana make more money, but also then part of your money goes to help people. So explain that. And then we're going to look at some of these cool shoes. Yeah, it is better to teach people to fish than to fish for them. So what this. we do is we train them and give them skills so that they can make this and one. Once we sell, they can sustain themselves. Okay, so you do six different styles of shoes. Which one is your most popular? Uh, the most popular would be this one style and that okay. style over there. Uh, which, this? Yeah. This one and this one, okay. That's yeah. a mismatched pair we've got right there. <laughs> and the and fabrics are all from Ghana. That is correct. And um, so so how long does it take them to make a pair of shoes? Uh, and how so many do they make? You, you saw me doing this. To cut a pattern alone, it takes about a one hour to cut a pattern and to uh -huh. make them. So within a day, we will make maybe three to five pairs by myself. Okay, so they make the shoes there, and then where can people buy them? Because I absolutely love this concept. I think it's wonderful. And the shoes are really fun and cool. You can buy them online at our website at www.kwamebound.com, or you can also buy from Free People. It's one of the customers that sell from us uh -huh. on their website. Okay, thank you for coming in and showing us what you're doing with your life. It's thank a you. wonderful story. Um, the shoes are really cool, too. I'm gonna, I may take this pair, I think is pretty cute. I like green. What do you think? Which camera? You like it? Good? Okay. Thank you very much, George. You can help George build a pathway out of poverty by providing a living wage for people in Ghana. His crowdfunding site is wefunder.com slash kwame.palace.llc. Go to kwameba.com to buy the shoes. There's no shipping fee or cost for return.